Our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri K. Chandrasekhar Rao Garu, he always tells us one thing. He always says, you know, even if you switch off everything on the planet in terms of operations, in terms of what we do in industry and elsewhere, we cannot switch off agriculture. Primarily because if you switch off agriculture, you would be left with no food, right? But more importantly, as India moves up the value chain, India starts producing and becomes a uh, you know, surplus nation in terms of food. We need also newer solutions, new packaging solutions, more processing solutions. But the key again is to ensure that all of these again are sustainable. This initiative is actually first of its kind in India. It is inspired by the success and learnings of a similar initiative in Africa. And now we will follow a hub and spoke model with the hub and national center being located in Hyderabad. And spokes, of course, covering rural communities in the states and hopefully other regions through a network of specialized outreach and knowledge establishments that will facilitate the deployment of technologies and innovative business models. The aim of this cold chain center of excellence is to facilitate accelerated deployment of needs driven and equitable system level cooling solutions in Telangana and India to meet the current and the future needs of cooling for all, to promote technology solutions that help cut down the food losses, improve temperature controlled supply chains and boost, most importantly, exports. Because like Garrett said, if we are able to create a win-win solution for the people who feed us, the farmers, I think this center would really be meeting its objective. Today, we see a center here with state-of-the-art equipment and a one-stop solution for the challenges around cold chain ecosystem. In phase one of this project, the focus would be on post-harvest practices, food and health cold chains. In phase two, the scope would be extended to include thermal comfort, electronics, and possibly data centers as well. The center will also have a solution development laboratory, solutions demonstration center, model pack house, and community hub all of these of course for demonstrative experience for industry to come explore and I'm sure the academia here would be more than happy including University of Birmingham and also other uh, important academic institutions here in the state would be more than happy I'm sure to contribute to learn and to continue to build on what we've started more importantly the expected impacts of phase one of this center will be to increase income of farmers by enhancing the value of their products, enhancing the ability to store in a better fashion, to increase market access, and to reduce food losses. Second, but not any less important, improve access to health services, vaccines, blood, insulin, etc. Improve temperature controlled supply chain to boost exports and imports, both for food and health, by reducing investment and operational losses, operational costs develop and demonstrate cooling technologies and solutions that meet the state's needs and could be scaled up for global outreach. Now I can go on and tell you a lot of things that we've done in the last nine years in terms of boosting our ability to export more, create more agri uh, products from our state, but I'll confine myself and I'll tell you one thing. I think as a developing nation, as a growing country, if India has to move forward, if India really has to find its place in the first world in an expeditious manner, we need more partnerships, we need more collaborations, and I'm delighted that India and UK are forging ahead. And we need goodwill ambassadors like my friend, Karan Bilimoria, you know, whose heart beats for India and UK. And I'm sure that he would be very happy, um, you know, knowing that this partnership has now made its first, st has taken a first step, made a fantastic beginning. Look forward uh, to working closely with you, Professor Toby, and look forward to more and more of the industry, I see industry representatives here, more and more of the industry coming forward to pick up these best practices and helping our farmers, helping our citizens, you know, achieve that scale, achieve those solutions. Thank you very much. Jai Telangana.